Hello friends, this is uh, the Intermediate Videos Round 2 and we're looking at our first bead in this video which is exercise 146 for the white bead and we're looking at quavers. Um, so not whole beat notes, not our crotchets, but our quavers which are half beat notes. And in our tutor book they're described as eighth notes because the Americans, which is where your book is printed, have a different way of talking about notes. They actually call it a semi-brief, a whole note, a minimum, a half note, a crotchet, a quarter note, and then quavers become eighth notes. Semi-quavers would become sixteenth notes. So they have a different naming system to us, um, but the thing that we really want to focus on here is where we use our bow. Now, when we do TTs or quavers, as we call them, I like to be from the middle to the upper half. You definitely don't want to be stuck down here by the frog for doing those uh, sorts of notes. Definitely starting in the middle to the upper half is the best place to be. So let's have a go at number 146, and it has the counting pattern there. We say one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. So when we're counting quavers, to get them exactly for half of the beat, we say and, one and two and three and four and. So we can get them really methodical, a bit like a clock tick-tocking, making it really accurate. So this is a D major, a D major arpeggio that we're actually playing just with a rhythmic pattern and we will do the repeat. This is 146. One and two and three and four and. forward to you showing me that you're doing that counting with the ends and that you're working from the middle to the tip of the bone. 